Welcome to Denmark, welcome to Copenhagen. And welcome to Wind Europe Offshore 2019. And the Wind Europe events are it's a fantastic opportunity to meet diverse set of suppliers, owners, key stakeholders and making sure that the offshore wind agenda is actually taking place. You have the whole year in this long sequence of events and then it gets down to as kind of like a singularity where you have everything coming together. Maybe finally we are starting to win the battle on public opinion. After 10 years and 50 billion euros of investment, but maybe we shouldn't take too much credit for that because a 15-year-old Scandinavian schoolgirl has probably achieved more in that battle for public opinion in the past 12 months. Please now welcome His Royal Highness, Frederick, Crown Prince of Denmark. Offshore wind today is an essential part of the green transition and an ongoing amazing technological development. And the technology is reliable, cost-effective, and one of the answers to fight climate change. We go offshore to save our planet. Partir en mer pour sauver la terre. We know today that we need to fully decarbonize Europe and combat the worst effects of climate change. We need to understand each other's issues. We need to jointly work to alternatives and accommodate each other's needs. In order to be successful in this industry, collaboration is crucial. We will need a real and long-term vision from national and EU decision makers to unlock the necessary investments. I think collectively we have the option, the possibility and the obligation to make sure that all of us go home safely every day. Is the offshore wind ready to deliver on such ambitious plans? In my view, this is a clear yes. We need to provide the answers. We've done it before and we can do it again.